Or their memory is within our reach, Basim. And like those before and those yet to come, Alru's death will be just. This is a man who preys off the desperate and the disenfranchised. And such atrocities will only continue. For Alru is but a cog in a larger wheel. One that spins destructively. So long as it does, we hidden ones will make it our mission to slow to stop. Today, you will lend your hand, your blade, to that very mission. And while Alrul is your first target, he will not be your last. I have great belief in that. And in through all my stoicism, my harsh lessons, know that you have impressed me, Bas. The Order's presence in Baghdad and beyond rests on shifting sands, so long as you remain at the tip of our spear. And that is where I intend to remain. Beholden to your guidance, Master. Busy as a beehive. Come, set your sights on the trial that awaits you. Merchants, livestock, caravans from all walks. And I thought Anbar's markets were disorderly. Where there is disorder, there is chaos. And chaos can bring opportunity. See what avenues present themselves. Be reactive, but patient and trust your instincts. That is Mas'ud, on the balcony, just as Ali described. I see him. Go now, wet it with the blood of the slain. I will find you when it is over. You think your cruelty's well hidden, al -Ghul. For you chose those with little voice, whose cries you knew would go unheard. They dug at your bidding, died at your hand, and were cast away like so much refuse. All to scour the desert for some artifact. Even now you haggle for flesh, safe in the Karwan Sarai. You prefer your victims chained and starved. It is time you faced a man unbound. The stage is yours, Basil. I will be watching. Be my eyes, Enkidu.
Volta! We were promised steady work and fruitful returns. Now we're being made to slog in the desert. We were deceived. Please, you must help us. Tell me what I can do to help. The man who brought us has a deed that binds us to Mas'ul. If he has not collected his fee, he should still be here. If I can relieve these men of their duty, it will not be long before Al Ghul catches wind of his disbanded workforce. Not here. Those two men are having a loud dispute, but not loud enough. How might I push them over the edge? Well met, traveler. The Karwan Sarai is rich with wares today. I was wondering if you had any goods to sell? I only deal in Durham. And what I sell are not goods, boy. Though I suppose that depends on who you ask. I am not sure I understand. I sell men, laborers. But my lot is spoken for. Could I change your mind? I have coin to spare, and could use men such as yours. Fifteen thousand. That is absurd. Who has the means to pay so much? It is better to keep that question to yourself. Be on your way now. If I am going to free those laborers, I will have to steal the deed. I have claimed the deed from your handler. You are bound no longer. Go! 
The laborers run amok. Al-Ghul will take notice. I must be ready to strike. Word will surely get to Al-Ghul. Come out and spectate, coward. Turn your hate inward, Masoud. It is your wickedness that has led you here. 
Wickedness? To whom? The unenlightened? The feeble who have cast their lot? It is our divine will to rule over them. Our duty to exact their contribution. Contribution? To what? To what could be. The very knowledge of which lies buried beneath these sands. Some things are meant to stay that way. No, 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 no. These are gifts destined to be recovered. They speak to us, as you well know. Me? Oh, yes. A hidden one you may be, but not just. Clear your mind. Al-Ghul's relentless pursuit at the expense of human lives has come to an end. It is a day of victory, not only for those spared of his cruelty, but for the hidden ones. The Order's grand plot in Baghdad may still be a mystery, but we can at least be certain Al-Ghul's role in it has been vanquished. I believe what he sought to uncover were more strange objects, like the one I took from the Winter Palace. What does the Order want with these relics of the past? And why guard them with so much effort? You are beginning to ask the right questions, Basim. We shall find the answers together. Lately, all I have are questions. What do you mean? Nothing. Forget I said anything. How am I to guide you if you will not speak openly? I have... I have... struggled with nightmares. In these dreams, a jinni torments me until I wake up panicked and soaked with sweat. In Alamut, I had nearly forgotten about it. But when I killed Alol, I felt its presence again. And I am left asking why? Why here? Why now? Why me? Piling questions and no answers. I meant to tell you, but... You were afraid I would think you weak of mind. We are only as weak as we allow ourselves to be. To shed a weakness, you must do what is necessary to mend that which causes you pain. Will you permit me a brief respite? I wish to seek out an old friend. Niha? I remember. She is important to you, isn't she? She is. 
But last we spoke, I led her to believe otherwise. This causes you pain. Then go and heal this wound without delay. Find me at the Harbia Bureau when it is settled. If that was indeed Nihal, I have not a clue where she went. Back home in Anbar, maybe.